Welcome back and uh, in this video we are going to be creating this uh, full screen model so we're gonna actually create our own uh, model view and we're gonna use uh, we're gonna create a custom present uh, just like uh, storyboard has and we're gonna supply our custom uh, model view and uh, style of representing and everything into that okay so we're gonna see like how we can create that so let me show you what you're gonna create is you have uh, uh, we have an image and uh, a uh, text on it and as soon as you tap uh, on the image as you can see this model appears and uh, you can you can notice that this is actually a custom um, uh, model because it has these edges and it's not completely hidden like you know from back scene because back scene is still visible and as you can tap on it you can dismiss but uh, you can present anything you want uh, basically within this model uh, now if you haven't seen my previous videos please go ahead and watch them there is one that actually tells you about how to create this leaf kind of effect and uh, that is going to be uh, something that we're going to be using in this video so okay so that's it for this video this is what we're going to be building so let's go ahead and um and get started so uh okay all right so for our view uh first let's go ahead and and create our model uh, so we're going to create a struct and the struct is going to be called full screen model view and we're going to make it generic i'm going to convert it into view modifier okay then we're going to take view uh, properties first um, okay so First gonna be first is gonna be binding is presented and this gonna be the view that's presented. And we need uh, animation style so we can actually create an enum that's gonna represent our animation style so we're gonna say enum then um, we're gonna go back and uh, basically uh, give our animation style one of these uh, styles so we're just simply gonna um, at this point we're just gonna initialize or declare it then we're gonna create our body and uh, let's get, go ahead and get geometry reader I'm gonna get our Z stack. Inside the Z stack, we will create another Z stack and put our content there. And another Z stack with color dot clear dot edges ignoring safe area all self dot presented view okay so basically uh, wherever we're gonna apply this modifier we're gonna have that content and then the presented view that we are actually calling using present okay so um, I'm gonna give this some offset So we're gonna let's compute y offset like you know how how much y offset do, do we want so let's go ahead and create a function here and uh, we're gonna mark it private we're gonna get geometry proxy and we will return cg float 
like so. Okay, then you're gonna put a switch statement for animation style. And this is why we wanted to create this Y offset. So depending upon the animation style, we can actually alter this. So we can say for none fade and scale, we want to return zero. And for the case slide, we want to return is return is presented if it's true then zero otherwise view height so we need to create another function to get a get a view height okay so let's go ahead and and get the uh, view height function created private func view height geometry proxy and this will run a CG float. And we are simply going to say geometry dot size dot height plus geometry dot set safe area insets dot top plus geometry dot safe area insets dot bottom so we need all of these values to be considered as the height for this so view height and we're gonna say geometry right here okay so now let's go ahead and create our animation style so we are going to only create two uh, opacity and scale so let's go ahead and create opacity and scale and uh, we're gonna create a private func opacity So opacity case none slide and scale we're gonna apply one for the case of fade we're gonna say is presented if true then one otherwise zero dot zero okay so that's gonna be our opacity effect and then let's apply scale effect cg float switch animation style and this time we're gonna take fade and return one for each and for our last case which is scale the main effect in question here is going to basically return if presented is presented is true then one otherwise 0, 0.0 okay because this is a cg float value all right oh, okay that's all right um so we are going to go back and uh, basically in within our uh, offset we're going to say why offset within geometry okay get that get the opacity and say self dot opacity all right and the scale effect self dot scale so we're gonna apply all of these modifiers okay and um yeah, so I think uh, we should be, we've got everything that we needed. Let's remove this extra line. Okay, so we have everything we created. Now let's go ahead and create an extension on view to present this as a present uh, override, or uh, present modifier. So extension, view, okay. And you're gonna create a function, present, Present will take content view, so a content of type view, and we're gonna say is presented to be supplied as binding of a boolean, okay, type, and then you're gonna have the view, the content, 
that needs to be supplied and the style that needs to be passed in basically the model presentation style and default we're gonna default it to slide oh let's do scale then we're going to say is return some view and uh, we say self dot modifier full screen uh, model view is presented so let's give it as presented our uh, presented view is going to be presented um, view so the view that we have this guy right here animation style is basically the style okay and then we're gonna say that animation style is not equal to dot none right otherwise if the style is none then we don't wanna um, then we don't wanna show the animation so if style is not is not equal to none then show easy and not otherwise just don't animate okay all right so let's go ahead and see how we can use this so let's go ahead and create a struct first for our content view so model content view view we're gonna create a binding is presented Of type pool and then let's create body Z stack color dot orange a button with an action And for the label, we're gonna say V stack. And here we're gonna show an image. I'm gonna use DT logo. We're gonna define the rendering mode because what happens is like uh, whenever you are rendering an image inside a button, um, its rendering mode is template. So it's gonna appear as like as as a as a base tint color. Um, but if you say show me original then actual image is going to show up let's give some padding here and uh, let's give the this view a corner radius the Z stack one okay and um, we're gonna say corner radius is 200 with dot bottom left and dot top right okay and uh, this is a custom modifier that we created. So let me show you. This is a custom modifier that we created on one of the earlier videos. So you can see that. But here's the code if you need to uh, copy it over. Okay. So let's go back. And uh, we are going to go offset at Y50 and some padding. Okay. So that's our custom modal view now let's go ahead and present this so what i'm going to do is going to create another z stack foreground color is going to be white and let's give it a background color color dot white dot 
opacity 0 0.8 and let's blur this so we get this uh, neon kind of effect 10 okay and then uh, we're gonna say on the Z stack we're gonna say present all right and uh, we're gonna use this overload we're gonna say is presented and we have not created that so let's go ahead and create state variable is presented and uh, model content view and supply is presented here as well and then for the style we're gonna say slide okay let's try the slide first and then um, we're gonna see other effects okay so let's go ahead and, and build all right build succeeded so and we got this and uh, if you tap on it nothing happens because we forgot to put our tap gesture all right self dot is presented dot toggle and let's go ahead and build it again <laughs> all right um so click on it there we go and let's go ahead and see if we can present it as a scale and uh, if anything is if everything is looking good there we go and uh, if we do dot fade there we go okay all right and uh, last but not the least none <laughs> let's see what happens in none okay all right so yeah <laughs> okay so uh, we can actually uh, sort of fix it like you know not presenting it at all um but yeah take it as challenge remove none uh, whatever you want to do uh, i want to present my uh, model okay so this is uh, so i i think we might we might want to remove uh, the none option because none option is something that i don't really care about i do want to present this as a model and its only job is to be presented when someone someone's there so um no more none option as we go so this is always gonna be like that okay Awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and rebuild to make sure everything is looking good. And uh, there we go. All right. Awesome. So yeah, this is it for this video. I just want to show you how you can create a completely custom um, model uh, with view modifier and then give it a present uh, like you're presenting in a a view controller kind of present uh, with your own custom view custom content and custom animations so feel free to modify however you want to but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe uh, for more content okay thank you so much